Let me fucking tell you something. Now, I didn't make this video after the fucking game. Because, quite frankly, I had a massive fucking headache after the game. Watching Brandon Whedon struggle again and again and again will fucking do that to you. Made me fucking pissed. But I have a hard time watching the Cleveland Browns play football right now. Wasted another great defensive effort by the top defensive unit in the National Football fucking League. Why the fuck is this screen? Whatever. Wasted another great defensive effort by the top rank unit in the National Football League again because Brandon Whedon sucks. But I have a hard time coming to grips that Doug Marone has a a cover behind victory in his second game, and Rob Chodinski, who's been in the league, National Football League for years, still can't get it going. I also have a hard time believing that Ryan Tannehill, a guy we passed on in last year's draft, is dominating the NFL right now. I also have a hard time believing that E.J. Manuel is dominating the NFL in his second game. Seeing Chip Kelly's offense go for 400 fucking, well, I'm not sorry, go for four or 500 yards, whatever, and seeing our offense get three field, or two field goals, two field goals, because Brandon Whedon sucks. Rob Chodinski... Number one, Trent Richardson, you fucking suck. You are fucking garbage. You're playing terrible. All right? The reason that they don't continue to give you the ball when the game's even close. We were at 6 nothing. They don't even give you the ball. You know why? Because you're playing terrible. It's like, why feed you the rock when all you do is the same fucking thing? You go to the line of scrimmage and look like a dumbass. This is the worst Browns. I'm going to tell you right now. I look like Phil Taylor, too, by the way. This is the worst fucking Cleveland Browns offense I've ever seen. But this might be the worst offense in the National Football League. But the Cleveland Browns defense now. I'm going to tell you, Drew. Cleveland Browns defense is one of the top units I've ever seen in the National Football League. I mean, their front seven is probably the best in the game, without a doubt. And for Brandon Whedon and that shitty-ass offensive fucking unit out there, to go out there and put a fucking goose egg up again... You scored one fucking touchdown in four fucking games. How much longer? Here's my question. This goes out to fuck you, Banner. Fuck you, Chudinsky. Fuck all you motherfuckers except by the name of Ray Horton, who's a beast. This goes out to Jimmy Haslam. Uh, how much longer do we have to put through wasting a fucking deed? That, I mean, these are winnable fucking games. How much longer do we have to sit through as a Browns fan? In winnable fucking games... And watch Brandon Whedon stink up the fucking joint. How much fucking longer? I mean, you had two fucking games. The defense played their asses off. We could have won them both. But Brandon Whedon is garbage. Then I got some idiots on Twitter. Yeah. Jason Campbell came in. They would know. I would take anyone right now. That's how fucking how bad it is in Cleveland with the quarterback. Situation. I wanted Campbell to start. And some idiots said, Hey, this is the guy you wanted to start because he came in on the one-yard line. What you expect him to do with two minutes? Left? What the fuck is he to do? Bottom line is, start Jason Campbell next week or Hoyer. As a Browns fan, and you, Jimmy fucking has him. Like a fucking Browns owner. How the fuck can you condone this shit? I'm not going to do it. I can't do fucking do no more. I won't do it anymore. I mean, I... I can't watch a Browns game no more. I can't. We cannot win with Brandon Wheaton at quarterback. He sucks. He's garbage. The whole draft last year. Trent Richardson at number three, I think it was a four, whatever the fuck it was, three. Oh, my God, what a waste. And Brandon Wheaton at 22 or whatever in the first round. What the fuck were you thinking? So, my question is, Chudinski, North Turner, it's... It's evident that this guy fucking sucks. And he's got no shot to succeed in the NFL. He's 32 fucking years old. Why the fuck are we wasting our time with him right now? Let's give Campbell the benefit of the doubt for the simple fact that these are winnable games. We're not playing. See, people think we're rebuilding. No, you don't rebuild when you have a fucking top two defense in the National Football League. When you got a defense like the Cleveland fucking Browns, you ain't rebuilding, motherfucker. You can win a Super Bowl with that defense. That front seven is as physical and aggressive and as beast as I've ever seen in the National Football League. You just can't run on it. The back end, Joe Hayden and Ward are beast. We got some a uh, little bit of lack of official evidence over there on the right-hand side. However, that being said, it don't matter. The front seven gets so much pressure, they can't do shit against us. You do not waste defensive efforts like that. You know how demoralizing it is for a defense to go out there week in and week out and know if they give up a fucking field goal, the game's over because your fucking offense sucks. 
Rob Trudinsky, you are the fucking coach. Don't tell me. I know Banner and Lombardi's not. They don't. All right. Banner and Lombardi do not like this fucking Whedon. The experiment's over. He sucks. Get rid of the motherfucker. I can't fucking take it anymore. I want him fucking gone. Can't take it. So, the longer we continue, don't tell me we're going to go one more fucking week with this fucking Yahoo and be 0 fucking 3 with a defense like that. No! We need to win the game and get back in this fucking division. I got news for you. I got news for you. The fucking Ravens suck. The Steelers suck. The only team that can give us any type of fucking problem this year are the Bengals. And if we just do our fucking part, I mean, it's still early in the season. We got all division games now. Campbell or Hoyer? We'll fucking do it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't watch the Browns no more. It's not good for me. That's another reason I didn't make a video right after the game. I, I was going to have a heart attack. I'm 44 fucking years old. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. So... You gotta do something. How do I see guys like Ryan Tannehill dominate the NFL, EJ Manuel look like a fucking veteran right now, and Brandon Whedon still sitting there patting the ball, locking on receivers? Look, the experiment's over. We thought it was um, Pat Trevor last year. It obviously wasn't. Uh, this year, what is it? Oh, uh, Trent Richardson was injured last year. Well, he's healthy this year. He's still pitter patting around the line of scrimmage. He's still waiting for a big hole there that's not gonna be there because it's not called football on the fat slob offensive lineman in fucking Alabama. I'll be honest with you right now. I would rather have Bernie Kosar at 50 years old behind that fucking line than this fucking piece of shit. Fucking Whedon sucks. And until you guys recognize that Joe Whedon or Jimmy Haslam, there is no fucking possible way that you could justify running this fucking kid out there again only to fail because I'm going to tell you something right now. We're going to dig ourselves in a big fucking hole and that defense is too good to fucking waste. I'm telling you right now, if it was me, the Browns, if I was the Browns management right now, I would fire Chodinsky, elevate Ray Horton, the fucking uh, head coach, have him still run the defense, obviously. Because I'm, I'm telling you right now. No, I'd actually hire myself. I would hire myself because I'm going to be the fucking best head coach. But it's laugh about best right now. You know, teams look at us right now. They're looking at our schedule. And they see us on the schedule like, man, I really don't want to face that defense. But they're like, you know what? We got a field goal. All right, all we need is a field goal. This is an embarrassment. And Rob Tudinski going for Let me show you. This is an indictment how bad Brandon Whedon is. Rob Tudinski went for it 4th and 3 on the Ravens 40-yard line, right? Knowing that he wasn't going to get in that field position ever again because Brandon Whedon's horrible. That's an indictment of how bad he was. And what do we do? We got a receiver run a fucking two yard pad on a three yard fucking hitch we need, and we don't get the first down. Perfect example. Wide open. Chris Obunganaga, whatever the fuck his name is, right? Running back. Went in the flat, got free. No one around him. What's Brandon Wilson do? Or Brandon, um. Oh, we can't look at you. Ah, ah, ah. We knew. Throws a fucking launcher way over his fucking head. He has to dive out for it. A perfectly executed, perfectly thrown ball after touchdown, we win the game. Brandon Williams is a joke. It's terrible. I can't take it. I I can't take it. I can I can't you know what I'm I can sleep in this motherfucker. Third row bad sheet too. I'm not sleeping in this motherfucker. So fucking pissed. But um yeah. Brandon Weed's not the answer. And we as Browns fans cannot subject ourselves to have to go through this fucking torture again. I won't do it, Jimmy. I'm not gonna do it. So Jimmy has them, seriously. I know you're a fucking, I know you want to win. And you go in that office, you go in Trudinsky's office and say, look, whatever you got to do, get it done. Because this shit ain't cutting it. I know damn well you didn't buy this team. We can find a quarterback next year. But this year, we can win this division. And the way our defense is, to be honest with you, the way the Cleveland Browns defense is uh, sitting right now with that front seven, <laughs> we didn't have a Tula Rubin player. Our starting nose tackle didn't even play. But the way, with the depth we have, the way our defense is sitting right now, I'd have to say it's the best in the National Football League. If we had one cornerback, shut down cornerback, besides Joe Hayden on the opposite side, it'd probably be the best defense ever. But we don't have that. But the front seven can make up for that. They keep us in games. If we had Simon I mean, Joe Trudinsky, you had 2007, you had all this offensive talent around you, huh? I mean, you had all these players around you, and we had big offense. I found out something today that fucking Greg Little, like I said last year, wasn't shit until Josh Gordon got put in a mix. As soon as Jordan came last year, or as soon as Gordon came last year, what happened? Fucking Greg Little took off. So he's going to come back next year, but I don't want to use no excuse and say, well, we want to need Brandon Weed one more fucking game when Josh Gordon said, no! Fuck no! I don't want to give him one more fucking game! He's had fucking 20 fucking games already! This is a warning sign. Jason Cameron Hoyer. I'll be honest with you. I'll take Hoyer. I like Hoyer. I like his mobility. Go. So, give me a hands on the balls in your court. But as a Browns fan right now, 
I'm at the point of no fucking return. I can't watch this piss poor abysmal product. And that defense right now, God bless them. You defensive players, you know the fucking beast. God bless them. I'm telling you something right now. I play defense. And when you're on the field and you're dominating and your fucking offense just can't score, it's demoralizing. It really is. God, I don't know how that defense continues to perform like that. It's just to the point where they get like, what the fuck are we even doing out here? So you're going to lose a fucking team right now. I'm telling you, you're going to lose a fucking team. So you need to fucking do something. This is fucking ridiculous. Jimmy has them. Seriously, man, make a call. Make a move. Whatever. Because I'll tell you what. I'm fucked up. I'm in a random parking lot making a video about a football team that I fucking love, but now I hate the quarterback because he's holding them back. He's like one of the NASCAR regulators. They put on a fucking engine so they'll have a governor so it don't go no faster. And the sad part is, if you read my Twitter feed, oh my God, you think I was a mental case. All the shit I say about Brandon Weed, I can't stand him. You think I was a mental case. I may be, but, I mean, it's justifiable. It's justifiable. I want to win a fucking game, and I can't stand knowing that I have a defense right now, a Super Bowl-caliber fucking defense right now we have. But it will never do anything because Brandon Whedon can't do nothing but hold the ball. Here's Brandon Whedon. Oh, my bean bubble. Here's him holding the ball. He sucks. It's a joke. It's a travesty, people. This team has too much talent defensively. Their front seven is, I mean, I don't know when I say front seven. I mean, them fucking linemen and fucking linebackers are fucking, you guys got to watch the Browns. If you don't know the Cleveland Browns, you watch that defense. It's going to injure some quarterbacks this year. I'll tell you that right now. Tom Brady, you better look out when we play you because that defense is no joke. I'm guaranteeing you right now, we're going to injure a big name quarterback. It may be Peyton Manning, it may be Tom Brady, it may even be Aaron Rodgers, who knows? I'm telling you right now, one team's quarterback's going to fall at the hands of our fucking D line or linebackers. I'm telling you that right fucking now. Let's go beat that guy's ass just for looking at him. I like looks him. But anyway, I just don't like to look at him. I'll tell you. I don't like the looks of people. I mean, certain things people do, I don't like them. I just don't like them. Anyway, the reason I'm eating this, I look. This was my. I went into the store one day and bought these a couple couple days ago. Cause I was doing something. I bought them. I had them in this fucking big ass thing compartment right here. I forgot. So I opened it up. I said, like, "What the fuck are these?" You can tell they were fucking bright too. Look at that. Bye. Bye. Fucking Dan Haslam, fucking Roger Dixie, and fucking Brandon Wing, and fucking Trent Richardson, you fucking suck. You're fucking terrible. The worst running back in the fucking league. I'm dragging you. Get it, buddy. You're a fucking girl. You're a fucking girl. You're a fucking girl. I'm fucking Trent Dixie. 2007, you're a fucking girl. Now you fucking suck. I'm very weak. This video's went on long enough. It went on long enough. Oh. I tell you. It's one of them things, man. It is one of them days. I gotta throw this out, but I'm throwing this thing here. I need a trash can. What the fuck is a trash can? I got a banana, a fucking handful of bananas now. I want to throw it out, but I'm not a litterer. But even though this ain't really littering, because it's fucking, it's fucking part of the earth. It's part of the fucking earth. It's not littering, but I'm not gonna litter. So one thing I don't do is I don't fucking litter. This just ain't me. There's a dumpster right here. I'm gonna find it. Oh, whatever. Get the fuck out of here.